Years ago today, Chai Lai teen Brittany Drexel disappeared in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. She was there on spring break. Police and volunteers have conducted numerous searches around the area where she was last seen. As News 8's Sierra Putman reports, although two years have passed, Drexel's family and friends say they're not giving up. Right today, two close friends of Brittany admit they don't have a lot to hold on to as this case stretches on, but they hope one day to learn what happened to their friend. Brittany Drexel was dating John Greco when she went missing in 2009. He was here in the Rochester area texting her when she disappeared. She got into a fight with her friends when she was down there, and uh, I was telling her just to have a good time and try to enjoy the time that she had left. He was there with family, searching for Brittany from the very beginning. And two years later, he wears a constant reminder of her. Right now, I'm wearing her ring. Um, and I, pretty much there is nothing in my house that doesn't remind me of her. Brandon Trentini was friends with both Brittany and John. And he says the fact that she's missing is still surreal. It's tough, you know. It's The trail went cold. And that happens a lot. And... I mean, it's hard because there's no closure. Both Trincini and Greco are convinced Brittany was abducted. Even though there are no new details in the case, the search continues. Brittany's mom was in Myrtle Beach this weekend. She told me police are still following up on leads. And Greco says he'll never stop searching for the girl he describes as his best friend. Absolutely not. There's, there's times where it becomes hard because you run into dead ends, but... As far as the family goes and as far as staying in contact with the family and the police department, that'll continue until she's found. Brittany's mother says there will be an awareness event this Saturday at the North Gate Plaza in Greece. They hope to raise money to continue the search for Brittany. She says it will begin at 10 in the morning. Sierra Putman, News 8.